So I want to talk about the relationship contract. When people are in a relationship, they don't take out a formal pay contract. You know, I mean, you may sign up. If you're married, not everybody is married. If you're married, you sign up. A wedding license, very nice, that's it. But people generally don't sit down and make a formal contract. Like if you rent an office, you have a lease. Or if you buy a car, if you buy an apartment, you have papers. When people are in a relationship, they generally don't take out papers. They generally don't sit down and make decisions about this is going to be like this, this is going to be like that. People just assume. People assume from their previous relationships. People assume because of what they read in magazines. People assume because they know all women are like this, all men are like that. So people assume what the relationship is going to be like at the beginning. What happens is as people go along, they learn a little bit about each other, and they develop some understandings, or they think they develop some understandings, and then they compare their experiences to what they think the contract is. So he's the, the editor of an old magazine, he's a, uh, a guy from the 60s. He says, self-discipline is remembering what you really want. Self-discipline is very important in relationships, right? Because people have to be able to talk about, this is what I'm upset about. If you yell, if you throw things, if you withhold sex, you're communicating, but not very effectively and not in a cooperative way. Self-discipline is required so that when you feel really, really angry, you don't call the other person names. Or when you're really, really sad, you're not manipulative, or you don't withhold sex if you're disappointed. Self-discipline is how we say to somebody, okay, look, this is very uncomfortable for me to talk about, but we really have to talk about this. So self-discipline, very important in relationships. And when people don't have self-discipline, what happens is that the relationship goes all over the place. People yell, people throw things, it's five minutes before company is coming over for dinner and you start having a big fight. No self-discipline. People need to be able to say, look, I'm really unhappy that you did this, but right now isn't a good time for us to talk about it. So after people go home, I want us to sit down and talk about what you just did. Or you're living with somebody and their mother shows up and you thought the mother was visiting for three days and it turns out the mother is visiting for a week. Oh. Oh. You invited her for a week? I thought we were inviting her for three days. Oh, I thought we were inviting her for a week. I thought we were inviting her for three days. But you love my mother. No, I don't. When your mother comes, you get crazy. We can't talk about this now because my mother just walked in the door. We will have to talk about this later tonight after my mother goes to sleep, okay? So there's self-discipline, right? So, when people are having difficulty, what I want to know is, what is the contract? What is the project? So, if Magdalena and I wanted to start a business, we like each other, we have some euros, we say, let's start a business. We would sit down and we would say, what kind of a business? Do we want to sell shoes? Do we want to have a restaurant? Do we want to open a medical office? And then after we decided we want to sell shoes, we would say, expensive shoes or inexpensive shoes? Dressy shoes, not so dressy shoes. Do we want to have many stores? Do we only have one store? We would talk about our project. Do we want to hire people from Croatia? Do we want to hire people from Italy who have been experienced in making shoes for a long time? If we do that, we have to pay them a higher salary. Yes, but if we have Italian crafts from making the shoes, we can sell them for more money. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So if we were setting up a business, we would have many conversations. What is this business all about? What is the goal? Is the goal to sell a small number of shoes for a lot of money for each pair? Or is the goal to only make a little bit, but to sell many, 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 many shoes? You could sell 
a million shoes and make one euro on each pair of shoes and you have a million euros. Or you, I suppose you could sell one pair of shoes for a million euros. So we would have to talk to each other many times. Now when people are in a relationship, how many conversations do they have like that? How many conversations do they have about what is this relationship about? Well, let's see, what I want from this relationship about, it, what I want from this relationship is mostly a lot of sex. That's all I want from my relationship with you. You might say, uh, I don't think I want that relationship. I say, well, okay, 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 okay. Uh, a lot of sex, and once in a while we can watch television together. You say, uh, I don't know. Or you might say, perfect, you want to have a lot of sex? I don't want to have a lot of sex. I don't like to go to museums. I don't want to have children. Perfect. Let's just get together. We'll have a lot of sex. We'll have a meal. And then goodbye. See you next Saturday. So most people don't have so much of a conversation about what kind of a relationship do you want to have. I want a relationship where you get to know me. Eh, I'm not so interested in getting to know me. I just want somebody to play tennis with. I want a relationship in which we're really honest with each other. Oh, I tried that with my first wife, you know, and it didn't work out so well. I don't think honesty is such a good idea. I don't think I want a relationship with you if you are really, really focused on honesty. And then having those conversations at the beginning, it's a good start, but it's not enough. Because as the relationship goes forward, people need to talk more and more and more. What is this relationship about? What are the goals? What is it we're trying to do? Do we just want to have fun? Do we want to build something? Do we want to get to know each other better? And of course, people have to get to know each other better and better and better if you want to have a deeper relationship. If you don't want a deep relationship, no problem. So, when people want to be in a couple, what I want to know is, do they have that shared vision? You know, if Magdalena and I were running this uh, shoe company, and I thought we were going to be manufacturing very expensive shoes, limited number of pairs of shoes, and she thought, oh, we're going to make millions and millions of pairs of shoes, cheap shoes, we'll sell them at Walmart, you know, we'll sell them at the train station, we'll sell them to stupid American tourists, we'll make lots and lots of cheap shoes. We would, have, we would be quarreling because I would show up to the factory and there would be millions of, of uh, there'd be materials to make millions of shoes and it would be cheap stuff. And I'd say, what is all this? And Magdalene would say, isn't it great? I got this stuff at a discount. We can make a lot of money selling all these cheap shoes. I'd say, no, I didn't want that. And then we have a quarrel about that. And then the next week, she buys advertising on the radio. Cheap shoes, cheap shoes. I say, this ad sounds terrible. It only will appeal to people who want cheap shoes. She says, yes, it will appeal to people who want cheap shoes. No, that's not what I want. So we have to continue to make sure we have the same vision. Because if we don't, we will be quarreling and quarreling and quarreling and when I see couples who are quarreling, they say that they're quarreling around being late. They say that they're quarreling about the house is always dirty. They say that they're quarreling about the kids are always in trouble. But what they're really quarreling about is that they don't have a, a joint 